Hall of Fame athlete, activist, been relevant for over 50 years on the national and international stage, voices support for the President of the United States. What's controversial about that? Well, it's controversial in today's day and age because the President's President Trump and that athlete turned activist uh, impact person is Jim Brown. Jim Brown, welcome to Fox and Friends. Thank you, Brian. It's good to be on with you. Jim, uh, why, do you, why, did you uh, why have you looked at this president and said, I, I support what he's doing? Well, I'll tell you, the, the greatest thing about America is that we all have our opinions and our thoughts. Nobody is totally correct in everything that they do. I have access to the president, and anytime I have access to the president, and he will listen to my thoughts, that's all I can ask of him. And that's what I do. So this president is accessible, and uh, he's different, he's challenging, and uh, he pays attention to what I say. Uh, the numbers look pretty promising. Black unemployment is down. Wages are up. Uh, his approval rating in the black community is still low, but it's doubled really since the spring of 2018. You're somebody who likes, what's, likes some of the things that he's doing. What is he doing that you like? Well, to tell you the truth, there's two things. North Korea, that is uh, highly important to me because that the scenario there have changed, and he has made it change. And a few couple of months ago, I was looking at a nuclear war. And so he's dealing with <laughs> that gentleman that runs that country in a manner that makes me feel very proud of him. Uh, the other thing that has passed my mind is right now, but I'll tell you this, the number one thing is that if I have an idea and a concept and I'm working my butt off to make this a better country, and I put in a, a call to the president, and he will answer me, what else can I ask him to do? He has his job to do, and I also have my job to do, as a citizen that has a certain amount of influence. And I, I, So I don't blame him and what his office can produce. I look at what I can do, produce in the black community and the community at large, and all the individuals that I can influence that will work with us to make this a better country. So we should look at ourselves first before we look at the president. Right. Do you feel as though he's producing for the black community? Well, I'll tell you, it's very hard to produce for the black community in a certain way. The black community, and I'm a part of the black community, has a responsibility regardless of what the president does. And if you have a homicide rate within your black community, then it's not the president that's created that homicide rate. It's the black community itself that needs to address it. So I don't want to just put everything on him. And I'm sorry to say that the black community is not doing what we should do, and that includes myself. I can work harder. Mm -hmm. I can donate more money. I can go more places. But we have to be able to, as citizens, bring something that the president can join forces with and triple the effectiveness of it. Do you, hey, Jim, do you look at this president, the times you say in one-on-one -on -one before and after him being president, is he a racist? That, I'm so glad you asked me that. Of course not. You know, is America racist? Of course not. The emancipation, the, the, the advancement of black people in this country is based upon white people who risk their lives just to do the right thing to make the, the playing field uh, equal and balanced. So we always talk about the negative, but what about the positive? How many black athletes of millionaires because of those fans, white fans that go to those games, the NBA? Uh, the National Football League, those organizations would be out of business if it were not for, for people of, not of color, but white people that go to those games and support those teams. So we have to give credit mm -hmm. to the positive aspect of what people are doing in America and stop going to the negative first.
Well said. Jim, uh, you said, hey, listen, I, and I watched you on Hard Knocks on HBO, and you said, I would never be kneeling for the national anthem. Shannon Sharp, a Hall of Fame tight end, said this on Fox, says, if what Jim Brown's saying is true, if what Colin Kaepernick is doing in 2017 is wrong, then what Jim Brown did in 1967 was wrong when he led a protest to support Muhammad Ali for being a conscientious objective to the war. What do you say? I say thanks. <laughs> You know, the bottom line is this. Uh, we should never denigrate our flag and our national anthem. We should always be Americans first, and we should work our butts off to do the right thing and make it a better country. But to not respect your flag and your national anthem is something that I would never do. I want you to hear, uh, by the way, uh, people that have joined you in the support of the president, George Foreman, Dennis Rodman, Kanye West, Herschel Walker, Mike Tyson. I want you to hear what Spike Lee said at, uh, Spike Lee said at Cannes Film Festival about America. United States of America was built upon the genocide of Native people and slavery. That is the fabric of the United States of America. What's your response? Well, I'm sure that's not the full quote. I'm sure there's more in Spike's mind. And if you want to point to slavery and call it for what it is, he's right. But if you look at the other side of it, the people that gave their lives to make it better for those slaves, you look at Harriet Tubman, and that particular movement, you look at the progress that's, that has been led by Caucasian people to deal with freedom, equality, and justice for black people. We are no longer in slavery. We have self-determination, and this country is the greatest country in the world. So although when you look at slavery, slavery is an abominable type of situation, it's the reality of our past. But we have gone way past that particular kind of situation, mm -hmm. and we should look at the positive rather than the negative and do all the things that we can do, not point the finger at someone else, but we can do as a society to make things better in our country. Right. Hey, Jim, I'm out of time, but I'll say one thing. One of the greatest things that happened to me is to become friends with you. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you, Brian. Vice versa.